On today's adventure, we're going to Skyland Ranch's Safari Hayride in Sevierville, Tennessee. We'll be showing you all the different animals you can see and feed, as we also go over how much it costs, how long the safari is, and other frequently asked questions. Our hope is to help you decide if this is something you'd like to do next time you're in the Smokies, or just to sit back and relax and enjoy a fun safari ride with us to see a number of different animals up close and spoiler alert, Bree really likes the llamas. Before we hop on the safari, we just wanted to go over the cost. It's $15 for adults and $13 for kids. It is an add-on to their three-day general admission to Skyland Ranch. We have done a full video tour of Skyland Ranch showing everything from their chairlift, wild stallion, mountain coaster, animals, entertainment, and much more. We'll put a link to that video in the pinned comment below. The safari is a scheduled excursion and you can purchase a bucket of food for $5 each. We also wanted to point out that children two and under are free sitting on an adult's lap and you must be able to transfer into the wagon without assistance. Unfortunately, there's no place for a wheelchair at this time. We'll go over how long our safari hayride was at the end of the video, but now that we are all checked in for the safari, we got our wristband along with our general admission wristband. Let's hop on the covered wagon behind their John Deere tractor. There are some restrooms right over here. I recommend you go to the restroom before you come hop on the safari hayride, which is what we're gonna do now. We just got some feed buckets. These are $5 extra. You can get them when you pick up your wristband and pay with a credit card or you can pay with cash. Phase two of our five phases of construction. So we're constantly adding and changing things. So every time you come back, there's something new. The next thing we'll have opening will be our petting area. That is this fenced in area we came from with the privacy fence. That'll be opening in the next couple of weeks. That'll be our petting ground. It is just a little bit after four. They did tell me this should be about a 30 minute experience. So right up here, we'll be going underneath our wild stallion mountain coaster. So this is the longest and fastest mountain coaster in the southeast. It's about a mile and a quarter long. It is one of the newer mountain coasters in the area, so it is completely computer operated. They can tell exactly where you are on that track at all times, and it keeps each cart spaced out about 80 feet from the one in front of it, as well as the one behind it. We are going to take a slight pause between these two gates so you guys can see these animals that are here on the left of the tractor. This is our quarantine pasture, so everything starts right, in this up. pasture. They all get to stay in here for about a month before they go out with our other animals. And in here right now, we have most of our mamas and babies. So our Katahdin sheep started their lambing season around January 13th. And the youngest lambs were just born about two weeks ago. So we've got about 30 lambs right now, all ranging in age. So about three months to two weeks old. We also have two of our newest alpacas, that is Roy and Roger. They just joined the ranch about a month ago. We're so excited. So to look us on the ranch. So in this area is where you guys will get to feed. We do have three sections, so this is the first out of three. And don't feed them just yet. We're going to go on past this big metal barn up here before we start feeding them. They are going to chase us because they, they follow the tractor all the way there. <laughs> so they're just kind of... We nope. had a spill and... They are actually rescues here on the ranch. We got them and they come from a pretty rough situation. But they made a lot of progress. They actually hated people when they came here. Now they're doing really, really good. They'll actually come right up and eat out of your hand now. Oh, here they all come. <laughs> so our two alpacas are right here. That is Patsy and Martina. Martina's the one making her way to the tractor. Patsy's taking a nap right now. We also have the four donkeys. That is JR, Jock, Bobby, and Ray. Once we come to a complete stop, you guys are welcome to feed. We do ask that you do not feed off the back of the tractor or the very front. Just feed off the sides. We also ask that you don't throw any food. Try not to waste any food. So this donkey that's walking up to the tractor right now, not that one. That's JR. JR. One, this one is Jock. So Jock's about 12 years old. He's our old man. You're he's a little bit aggressive. JR is the youngest, so he's two years old, and he's kind of a little brat. He's, he's feisty. <laughs> he's coming over. Oh, yeah, I he's want to go the llama. You got some friends coming off in the distance here, Bree. Oh, 
Lamas. The Lamas. So this one sheet that's walking up real slow, she's actually the oldest in the group. This is called Blanc. Hello. She's about 12 years old, so you she's so pretty. Look and she you. actually had an injury as a baby. So when she was a baby, she got stepped on. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> JR. JR is pushing the uh, llama out of the way. He's a bully. He is a bully. He's a bully. He's just spoiled. Come he's not used to having to share. Come here, right, sweet. So buddy. are these girls or boys? Girls. Come here, this sweet girl. This one is Gab or Gretchen, and the other one's Gabby. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you sweet girl. Come here. Oh. Bree loves llamas. Oh, 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 hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's keep your bucket behind you. A little bit at a time. There we go. Oh, oh hello. Oh, know. well, I can pet her. Just uh -oh, portion control. Portion control. <laughs> Aww. You're so sweet. There you go. Hello, sweet girls. Hello. Oh, All the food's going to the llamas. <laughs> this guy's getting leftovers down below. We do have two more stops, so try not to use all your food here. We've got two more places to go. Right. We'll save yours for the next stop. Because I can't help but feed the llamas. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, yes. Oh, let me give you a hug. <laughs> Come here, little All right, lava. if everybody's ready, we'll get going to our next stop if everybody wants to take their seat. <laughs> See, I don't need llamas. I can just come here all the time. <laughs> Once they do come, you guys are welcome to start feeding them. Just know they are very slobbery, so if you use your hand, you're probably going to get a lot of cow slobber. It's like giving a toddler a Cheeto. It's kind of nasty. You're welcome to use your bucket, too. There are Dolly is the only one that will really try to steal it. So if you give your bucket to Dolly, it'll probably end up down here somewhere. Wow. They're all just kind of slow coming up. Wow. This bigger one on the lower side with the horns that kind of twist around, that is Dolly. She's our oldest, so we suspect she's around 10 to 12 years old, somewhere in that range. This bigger one right here is Tank, so he's probably the biggest in the group. He's also very sweet. He's like a big dog. So their horns look so heavy, but are they yeah. hollowed or so they they're light? not. They're actually full of tissue, and they're like vascular, so they use those to keep themselves cool. Okay. Or they can use them to heat themselves up either way. Texas Longhorns, they were bred and originated in Texas, obviously from the name but they actually come from feral cows. So cowboys would lose cows, and then that created the Texas Longhorns. So they're one of the only breeds that people didn't create. They were kind of created through nature and just survival and all that stuff. And so they're pretty neat. They use their horns to just basically for the environment. So here they do really good because we have really cold winters and we have really hot summers. Okay. So they can do really good in the summer, but also the winter months, they do really well. I see the little burrs all over. Yeah, they're bad. He's Houdini, he knows how to bring out. And he'll go find them. You gotta get just a little closer. There you go. How did the sheep get in here? He's cute, isn't he? Fluffy. Very fluffy. He's the brown diesel. The diesel's the little miniature cow up at the top of the ranch. He needs a good shampoo and conditioning. <laughs> so they all have their little personalities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many animals do you guys have in all here? Um, we're pushing somewhere in like 150. Okay. With the lambs, that's went up. It's probably closer to 200 now. All right, if everybody's ready, we'll get going to our last stop. So this is our second stop. We're gonna have one more stop. So you gotta kind of manage how much food you have as if you wanna stop at the different locations. See you later. So Ryan's bucket is still full and mine was almost empty. That tells you who likes to feed the animals. <laughs> we have two different types in this area. So that's the Sika. These that are down here are the fallow deer. So we've got those two different types. They kind of stay away from each other. But once we come to a stop, you guys are welcome to move around to feed them. The only place we ask that you don't feed them from is the very front between the wagon and the tractor. Just stay on the sides or you can feed off the back. So cute. It's dinner time. Okay. All right, Mike, uh, you guys on. are good to start feeding them. 
and you're welcome to move around like I said earlier. And if they're not coming at first, if you just rattle your bucket just a little bit, sometimes they'll come up to it. There you go, Micah. So like I said, we have two different types of deer. We have our Sika and Fowler. The Sika are the brown ones right here that have the white under their tails. Those guys are originally from Asia and Japan, and they get to be around 80 pounds. So they're a smaller breed of deer. The fallow that we have come in a wide variety of different colors. So we've got about 16 of these deer right now, and they're all mixed up. So there's boys and girls. That's a boy. Dad. Yeah. You can tell if those are Mom, that's a boy. Nice <laughs> story. Okay, that's good. We're good. We see lots of deer at our house, but this is the first time you've ever fed a deer, Micah? Yeah. Or maybe at the Smoky Mountain Deer Farm. They're very delicate eaters compared to the sheep and JR. <laughs> <laughs> JR sets a really low bar. <laughs> so this gives you a chance to get really close to some deer. You can feed them. You can pet them. God bless you. <laughs> I heard that. So this is our last stop. We want to make sure we use up all of our remaining oh, food. Soft. Mike is enjoying feeding all the deer. He's taking over my food. So all the kids are just hand feeding or out of the bucket. It's up to you whichever way. Like Bree said, these are really delicate ones. So if you have little ones that are a little timid or nervous about the animals, these are great to save some of your feed for. I'll definitely need a good hand washing after feeding these. <laughs> Before our dinner yes. later tonight <laughs> here at Skyline Ranch. All right, if everybody's ready, we'll get going. So she does walk along to make sure the animals are out of the way before they start moving. Now we're just gonna take a relaxing ride back to where we started and head towards the bathroom to wash our hands. Yes. We didn't go into this area. That will be opening up very soon and part of the safari hayride. So this will be our new Wranglers petting corral. You'll start on the end down there and you'll go through and feed the animals that are in there. It'll be mostly smaller animals. We have some micro cows that'll be in there as well as some lambs, some little goats, some bunnies, things like that. You'll walk through and feed them and then you'll come out the other end and load up on the safari. It'll be all one wristband. So there is a look at the safari hayride at Skyland Ranch in Sevierville, Tennessee. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, do us a favor and like this video and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. We did want to thank one of our subscribers with a free ticket to ride their Wild Stallion Mountain Coaster. All you have to do is include Safari Hayride at Skyland Ranch in your comment and we'll pick a comment at random on an upcoming live stream. Along with our full tour video of Skyland Ranch, you can also check out our videos of their dinner shows. We'll put in the pinned comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.